Guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about looks. Are looks important with um, a partner, a romantic partner? So it's very interesting because I think there are two camps with this. There's one camp that just says looks is the most, is all that you should worry about with, with a partner. And it's generally more of the kind of blue pill, like the kind of red pill, pill people. They'll just be like, I want a woman to be beautiful and so subservient to me, basically. That's all they see is, is good in a partner. And then there's a kind of more blue pill thing, which is, um, I need, you know, looks is superficial. I want a partner to have like a good heart, you know, get along. It looks, it looks like that kind of, that's too important, you know, more about the deeper stuff. Like, you know, her character, um, who she is as a person, this kind of thing. Um, and I think both of them are horrendous um, worldviews, to be honest. Um, but to be honest, if one is worse, I would probably say it is the, um, the blue pill one. Because at least with the red pill, it's kind of, they're being honest, you know, they're being honest about how they feel. Now, they're probably misguided and there's, there's a better perspective that I'll come to later. But I think what I hate about the blue pill perspective, and this is what we're going to talk about today, is um, it's so up its own arse. And it, it, it sort of assumes a certain amount of wisdom that the, 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 for the people, person who is espousing this kind of view that they don't have. So... So I'll kind of critique the blue pill version today and then I'll sort of, we'll go into the red pill perspective a bit and I'll sort of marry the two together basically. So um, the problem with the blue pill perspective is that ultimately you do need to find your partner attractive. So that might be a sort of bombshell to someone, some people. Um, they might be surprised to hear me say that. Um, and I certainly, there were times when I was sort of skeptical about how Attractive, how attractive should I be to my partner? How much is, is other things? I kind of, I dated girls that I was less attracted to because I thought, well, um, maybe, you know, there are more important things like, you know, our interests and how, how, how other person is as a person, their ethics. But I very firmly come to the conclusion now that that kind of sexual attraction that draws you to a person initially, like, you need that. You definitely need that. And um, I don't know, I just think you need to look at older, older films that are sort of set in times before the sexual revolution and you see that's true. Like, um, you know, beauty is a big part of what, how male characters select mates. Like in, um, I suppose the example I'm thinking of is Hackshaw Ridge. You know, like that guy, uh, they'll use the main character, I can't remember what he's called, but he, he sees his wife at a, his future wife, like just out and about. And the first thing he thinks is, I don't think they even talk when they first see each other. He just thinks she's good looking. And uh, that's what, that's basically all that motivates him to go and find her uh, at work as it happens and um, ask her out on a date. And then they get married pretty quickly afterwards um, because it's the 1940s or the 1930s, I guess. Uh, but, um, you know, they, that, and that blossoms into a beautiful relationship the, that's a big part of his life and they complement each other very well. But the, the point is still there. The point still remains that um, he found her attractive to begin with and he wouldn't have gone up to her and, um, and proposed to, to marry her, basically, if he hadn't first um, found her attractive. So... So that, that's how it seems to work for me. And like, you need that kind of attractiveness. Um, but here's where I fall short about it. Uh, here's where I sort of disagree with um, the Red Pool, is it's a selective thing, but it's not, it's like a hurdle you need to get, get past, you know? So the way I think about relationships in my life, like, um, and dating is, it's like, 
Box number one is, are they attractive? Yeah, yes. Okay. Um, can I get on with her reasonably well? Have you got reasonably similar interests? Yes, you know. Um, have you got common shared values? Yes. You know, blah, blah, blah. There's a whole list of other things that um, have to happen as well. And a lot of girls, especially if they're good looking, uh, nowadays, I think, especially because it's very easy to get everything you want if you're incredibly good looking as a girl. So I think it does give you a skewed perspective on what kind of life to live. But anyway, that's a side point. Um, but the, you know, a lot of girls, it would just be they're attractive, but oh, I actually don't really enjoy their company. Or, you know, I don't, we don't really have shared values, you know, or, or you know, um, they're, they're things that are gonna stop you from being in a serious, fulfilling relationship with them later on. But then there are also a bunch of people who you have a lot of things in common with, and if they were good looking, you would be in a relationship with. But at the end of the day, if you're not attracted to them, it's, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, and I think that's fine to admit that. It's fine to admit that, and, and also, here's another way of looking at it. Girls want, and, and guys, but, but, and girls, you know, both, but, you know, talking about girls in this situation, girls want to be, um, they want to be found attractive by their partner. So, as sort of tough as it is, like, if you don't find the girl you're with attractive, that's, you know, that's rough on her, you know, and she's not gonna be very happy in that relationship. Um, you know, whether she realizes it or not, that's not great if you don't find her attractive. So, so, you know, you need to be with someone who you find it ain't the attractive. Now, it doesn't have to be a 10 out of 10 muzzle. Sure, you're gonna have to make some compromises <laughs> along the way, but you need that initial spark. Like, I don't see how, um, how else it's gonna work. Um, and look, here's another way of looking at it. You know, you're, I mean, I think the problem is you have to look at these things in a very practical way. Um, you know, you're already sort of selecting out certain viable people uh, to be in a relationship with from things that, that have nothing to do with who they are as a person. Like, you know, do they speak the same language? You know, or, you know, second language. You know, do you have a common language you can communicate with is what I'm getting at. You know, someone could be like, you know, your dream girl, but if they speak, I don't know, Punjabi and, and you speak, um, um, I don't know, Greek and neither of you speak English, it's like, that's just not gonna work, you know? Um, and, you know, location. You're going to need to be, you're going to need to meet the girl who you marry or, or you're in a, in a relationship with. So that already like knocks out quite a lot of people um, in some sense. And you don't have any control over that and neither does she. But it doesn't matter really, because um, we understand, we accept that there's a sort of practical framework to relationships. Uh, and similarly, I think you should treat, um, you should treat looks in the same way. It's a practical thing that you need to, um, to deal with, that you need to tick off. Um, so I think don't think you're being superficial. Don't worry about being superficial if you're, um, if you're sort of judging on looks in terms of girlfriends, um, especially in the initial stages. In the initial stages, now it does get on to as into a problem later, as I just mentioned, where you know some girl might be a ten out of ten, but she's actually a really unpleasant person to be around. Um, you know, that's not gonna work. Yeah, you need someone who's, um, uh, who's good looking and is, um, you know, nice to be around um, and someone you can build a relationship with. And it's, it's hard to find those people. It's hard to find those people. Um, it's actually quite hard. And that's, that's why a lot of people kind of think they have to take one or the other. You know, they either have to be beautiful or they have to get along with them. Um, but neither of those relationships are going to work. You have to have both if you want to. Um, if you want to have a happy relationship, I think. Um, and you owe it to your future girlfriend or or wife to 
to sort of look for them under that, 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 that sort of frame of measurement that I just mentioned, you know, uh, both beauty and, um, and then on top of that, um, you know, agreeableness, like you can get on with them and everything else that we talked about. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's very hard, basically. It's very hard because, um, I mean, that's, that's partly why I think it's so important to improve yourself as in all aspects as much as possible because um, there are actually a lot of um, people around who, who tick all the boxes. Uh, all the main boxes anyway and but likewise there aren't a lot of guys who do either so yeah anyway hope you guys found this video helpful um and i'll speak to you guys soon